You said you heard a car start up after you forced it outside. Oh, I don't know. I... Oh, it could have been anyone, and I... I know these vermin get pretty big, but I... I've never met one that could drive. Haven't you? I meet them all the time. Where's Roddy? Mm. Chopped him. Tell him where that come from. It's all right, that's all. Told you, should have done the same as us. I mean, I don't think that's really me, Sharma. Oh, I didn't mean. Listen, I'm just going to the bar. Can I get you one? Whiskey, straight up. I thought you was a Malibu girl. Yeah, I used to be. <laughs> you were on your own tonight, like me, then. Not really. Looking for somebody. Right. OK, well, I'll be right back. I knew it. You didn't say if you wanted ice, son. Oh, what, yeah. Well, this isn't a social visit, thanks for asking. I thought it probably wasn't. Uh, do you ever think about getting an answering machine? I'm running out of excuses for nighttime babysitters. I had a call from the vicar at All Saints, Mary Trugal. We were ordained at the same time. She's witnessed an incident. What? I was reading to Joey some story about a fantastic wild animal. Oh. Did you come all the way over here just to tell me that? No, no, something else. You know the girl that died? Mm hmm Her friend, she never came back. Oh, can't say I'm surprised. What sort of thing would do this? You want to see? Just lost her a moment ago, sorry. She'd lost too much blood. You get the forms, don't you? Dead on arrival. What have we got here, then? Oh. Another nibbled packet. It's a pity we can only make black and white prints from the colour negatives. They could be clearer. I don't think Happy Snaps would thank us for taking these in. Come on. You can't hurry chemicals, John. Yes. Come on. That's my beauty. <laughs> it's another 20 seconds. Hello? Hold on. Hello? Jude, there's been another one. Exactly the same. Massive lacerations to both sides of the chest. Didn't even make it to the hospital. Oh, no. I just thought you'd like to know. Some bloke found it on the pavement this time, near that club in Castle Street. Called an ambulance. Tell me it isn't the other one's flatmate. Aid isn't. Huh? I don't know who this one is. Sharma Hollands. My brother's coming to identify in a minute. My flatmate still hasn't turned up. No. Has anyone tried ringing the flat yet? The file's gone missing. What? I asked if the managers had removed it because of the death, but no one's seen any sign of it. Between you and me, I wouldn't be surprised if they pulled it to destroy the X-rays so the cause of death can't be contested. Listen, I've got to go. Duty calls. Yeah, uh, thanks. All right, well, I need a large one when this is over. You and me both. Bye. Bye.
In the late 17th century, a nameless demon arrived in Milan, insinuating himself amongst the population. Seeming innocuous, he posed no danger in himself, but shortly throughout the city there were reports of attacks from hellish creatures, the like of which had never been witnessed before. These creatures soon became known as the Milan Incubi. Panic soon spread, and the people clamored for protection. But even in the cathedral itself, there was said to be no safety. Where did these things come from? It was said that to grow, the incubus had to be surrounded by human flesh. Some claimed he somehow employed susceptible subjects to do this. Do any of them say how? Well, it goes right out of your mind when you're being burned at the stake. Helpful. Hang on. A few victims insisted to do his work, he somehow caused them to sleep at will. Great. One man, near to death, attested that when cornered, it had finally unleashed its full powers against him. The demon was never identified, and after a while there were no further reports. How much of that is possibly true? It's difficult to say. They were a bit hysterical in the days before the news of the world. Hmm. The eye is definitely very similar to the one in the drawings, isn't it? Mm. Hello. I was just going past on my way to the chippy and I thought you... M oh. Jude. I'm sorry about the pics. You weren't really meant to see him. It was, it was sort of a joke. No, oh, really? It's a good thing you came back. See if you can find anything on the Milan Incubi, could you? Will do. Are you going on to the hospital tonight? No, I start days as from tomorrow. Well, you could try and track down a missing flatmate. She might have the key to the whole thing. Yeah, that's what I thought. <clears throat> Don't worry if I see anything furry. I'll run. Calling about Natalie Cornish, I'm a friend. I was wondering. No, I was out yesterday evening. Oh, I see, right. No, both the parents are dead. I suppose I should make contact with someone to um make arrangements. Yeah. Goodbye. There's nothing. I've been looking all bloody night. You said there was stuff on the net about Harrison's zoo. Yeah. Well, can you bring it up? You're not still thinking of going, are you? I just looked at the map. It's half an hour's drive from All Saints on the country roads to the zoo entrance, but the grounds of the zoo back right onto the rectory. There it is. It's put up by some protesters group. Scroll down. If Jude calls, tell her I've gone out. Oh, can you at least get me cotton chips first? Yeah, I'm well, starving. Come straight back. We might be onto something. I know it's against the cause, Zoe. This is what we've been waiting for. What's your problem? That thing isn't natural. That's the whole point. Genetic experimentation is illegal in this country. It's like a bloody freak show exhibit. Gives me the... It's bloody special branch. It's a plant. Shut up.
If you know what's good for you, open up. Who is it? <gasps> My name is John Strange. I'm interested in animals. I was wondering, when you broke into the zoo to protest, did you go through the grounds of All Saints Rectory? So what if we did? you want? Didn't anyone sing to get the flatmate's number? Gary took the call. He was in a flap having Sally just like that. Plus, God Almighty is about to appear any moment to do his rounds. Well, where's Chris Henry? He's gone to take some air between shifts. He's done 72 hours straight. I've got to get my skates on. My two dogs tear the place to pieces if I don't arrive on time with a tin opener in my hand. See ya. See ya. It's you lot, I might have known. We've got you this time. What do you want? I'm a busy man, I haven't got time to waste baddying insults with ill-informed children. Perhaps you'd rather talk with me. Who are you? Strange. John Strange. We know you import rare animals illegally and keep them in conditions that are wrong for their health. Please, please, I have heard this all before. If that's the only reason you drag me over here, I'll see you in court. No, that's not the only reason. They picked it up yesterday outside the rectory your grounds back onto. He died during the night. We think it probably starved. What the hell is this? Oh, don't try the innocent You don't recognize it. I swear there is no such animal in the world. I mean, the teeth. The teeth are reminiscent of, uh, of the smaller cats, you know, like the ocelot, but the, the eyes. I've only ever seen something like this on birds of prey. You haven't been keeping this creature. What? Oh. There have been several attacks on, on the zebra herd recently, uh, always at night. I mean, we... With, we suspected it was a fox or a, a weasel, but the wounds... The wounds suggested something, you know, with a much, much more powerful jaw. Where did this come from? That's what I'd like to know. Time. 